Everyone is different, and that's good. We are born with lots of differences, such as the colour of our skin, hair and eyes. This is known as diversity. All skin, hair and eye colours are natural differences, and none is better or worse than another. We all have different interests, things we're good at, and things we find difficult. The world needs all types of people. If we needed to, we could sort people by similarities they share, such as their hair colour. The world wouldn't survive if we were all the same. Imagine that each of these bricks is a human brain. There are lots of different types of brains, and this is known as neurodiversity. All types of brain are natural differences, and none is better or worse than another. Like before, we can sort people's brains by similarities they share. Some types of brain have been given a name due to them being so similar. The most common type of brain is called a neurotypical brain, or NT for short. They all think, learn, communicate and experience the world in similar ways. Usually, people with neurotypical brains find it quite easy to understand each other and make friends with other neurotypical people. Brains that aren't part of the neurotypical group are called neurodivergent, or ND for short. Different groups of neurodivergent brains have been given different names, such as autism, dyslexia, ADHD and dyspraxia, although there are many, many more. Each group thinks, learns, communicates and experiences the world in similar ways. And usually, people with neurodivergent brains find it quite easy to understand each other and make friends with other neurodivergent people. It's not quite as simple as that though, as most neurodivergent people don't just have one type of neurodivergent brain, but a mixture of several of them. Neurotypical people might share some similarities with neurodivergent people, but their brains wouldn't be given one of the names, such as autistic or ADHD, unless their brain was more similar to neurodivergent brains than it was to neurotypical brains. The world has been made mostly for neurotypical people, as they have the most common type of brain. Neurodivergent people don't usually find the world as easy to navigate as neurotypical people. That's not because there is anything wrong with them, but the world just wasn't made for their type of brain. Neurotypical people can sometimes find it difficult to understand why neurodivergent people do things differently to them, or why neurodivergent people find things hard that neurotypical people find easy. This can mean that neurotypical people sometimes think that neurodivergent people are being lazy or defiant, when they are actually trying their best, but finding the neurotypical world confusing or overwhelming. In the past, neurotypical people have expected neurodivergent people to try harder or change to try and fit into the neurotypical world. This is a really bad idea though, as it's exhausting and damaging for a neurodivergent person to pretend to be something that they're not, and it makes them very unhappy. Neurotypical people are starting to realise that neurodivergent people sometimes need more support to do some things that neurotypical people can do easily, and that that's okay. Working together and putting suitable supports in place means that no one is disadvantaged. We now know that going forward, it's the world that needs to change and not neurodivergent people. There are different ways of seeing the world and different ways of doing things. One way isn't better or worse than another. They are just different. Being neurodivergent is something to be proud of, and some of the world's most successful people are neurodivergent.